Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And this topic is really cool. I like it because I get to talk about marriage in a way that is so positive, even though you're wondering what's going on because the question is how long do married couples stay in love? That's the question. The answer is forever. You found your soulmate. But I'm going to get into this topic. I'm not just going to leave it there, obviously not. At the Marriage Foundation, we've established certain principles that we live by. And one of those principles is why we get married in the first place. We get married, and if you disagree, you should part. We get married because we want to be happy. What could be more simple and more truthful? And there's another reason. We get married because we want to experience unconditional love. Now that one's not as front burner, you might say, but it's there. That's what we want. We're human beings. We're souls. We're souls. We have a body and a mind, but we're souls basically. And love is what we are as souls. And so we want to experience that love. In the world, it's very tough to experience love. It's very tough to give love. It's a very competitive and dangerous world. And when we get married, we say, okay, this is our little nest of joy, our little nest of love. So what's going on? Why are you wondering about this? And I'm going to tell you why. It's because we're not taught anything about marriage. We're not taught about ourselves. We're not taught about what we can and what we should do to make our marriages deliver, deliver ever increasing joy, not just happiness, but happiness that gets better and better and better and love that is expanding continuously. You know, love is so misunderstood because we live in a material world. So we try to put everything in the context of a material idea, but love is not material. Love is spiritual. There's no boundaries to love. You have felt love. What do you feel when you exchange vows? that burst in your heart. Your mind can't handle it because the mind is material. The mind is like a computer for us, but we're souls. We have this experience, this flash of love, and we go, whoa. And it's a confirmation that you marry in your soulmate. Then you have children and you see your kids sleeping. They're not doing anything. And you have this burst of love in your heart. But that love is always there. What's really happening is the door is cracking open a little bit. So at the Marriage Foundation, what we teach is how to master your mind so that your soul is being expressed in your mind. So that you're not living on this mundane consciousness, but you're living on that plane of love. You know, if you're a subscriber, you know what I'm talking about because I talk about this all the time. If you're not a subscriber, then you should definitely subscribe. But this is important. This is the most important topic of your life. There's nothing else that you do except breathe. That's 24 seven. Your marriage is supposed to be a hive of happiness. You're supposed to be in love more today than you were yesterday, more tomorrow than you are today. This is not just a romantic song I'm singing. This is the way it is when you know what you're doing. So I'm going to explain it to you schematically. So you're a soul. You have a body, you have a mind, but you're a soul. When you're in that state of consciousness of the soul, it's nothing but peace and love. Even in the Bible, it says, be still and know. You can have that with your spouse by 
mastering your mind by keeping your mind with all of its emotions, fears, and habitual thoughts out of the way. But you have to learn how. So we have that covered in a couple of our books. We have that covered in the course for men and the course for women. Yes, there's two different courses because men and women are so different. And you learn how to master your mind. It's literally the first thing that we talk about in the courses because it is a critical component. You cannot be happy if you can't master your mind. Otherwise, the happiness that you have is fleeting because it's based on externals instead of who you are and what you are. So the answer is, how long do married couples stay in love when they know what they're doing? It gets better and better and better. And so that young couple walking hand in hand on the beach, just experiencing that love, grows older together and becomes that aged couple walking hand in hand on the beach of life, fully embraced within love, fully in joy. And that's what you should have. There's no reason for you not to have it. Now, some of you have expressed an interest in becoming a TMF marriage counselor. TMF is the Marriage Foundation Marriage Counselor. And we're going to be expanding this part of who we are. And so we're looking for people also. So if you're looking for us and we're looking for you, we've met each other. And it's not on the website yet. You can't sign up yet. But please let us know if you have an interest because then we'll let you know when it's ready for you to pre-sign. And we want you. And we want you if you're a therapist, we want you if you're clergy, we want you if you're just starting out and want to be a coach. It doesn't matter to us. It just takes a determination to, and it's, and it's a beautiful vocation, helping people with their marriages. It really is. It's so fulfilling. So I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Been doing this for over 20 years. And I do hope that it's helpful for you. God bless you. Thank you for joining and hope to see you again. Take care.